Good day everyone, welcome to Singer Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing the inverse variation. For two quantities x and y, an increase in x causes an increase in y, or vice versa. So if x increases, y decreases. And if y increases, x decreases. The statement y varies inversely to x can be translated to y is equal to k over x, wherein k is the constant of variation. Now to better understand, let's have this problem. Write the following as equation of variation. Use k as the constant of variation. Number one, the base b of a triangle varies inversely at its altitude, which is h. So b varies inversely at its altitude, so k over h. This will be the equation of our variation. B is equal to K over H. Number two, the acceleration A of a car is inversely proportional to its mass. So A is equal to K over mass, which is M. That's on how to write the equation of variation. Now, let's have this problem. The width of a rectangular box varies inversely to its length. Well, let's say our width is W and our length is L. If the length is 12 meters and the width is 5 meters, find the constant of variation. So, width varies inversely as the length. K over L. We're going to find the constant of variation, the K. If the width is 5 and the length is 12 meters. To find K, cross multiply. So 5 times 12, that is 60. Is equal to our K. So the value of k is 60. Now let's have more examples. Now let's have the following examples. Number one, a wavelength of a radio wave varies inversely as its frequency. A wave with a frequency of 1,200 kilohertz has a length of 300 meters. What is the length of the wave with a frequency of 800 kilohertz. First, let us find or let us write the equation of variation. So wavelength, we have the symbol. Of a radio wave varies inversely as the frequency. Okay, frequency for F. Now let us find the constant of variation. We need to substitute the value of our wavelength and the frequency. So a wave with a frequency of 1,200 kilohertz has a length of 300 meters. So we have a length, wavelength is 300 meters, is equal to K over our frequency is 1,200 kilohertz. Now to find K, cross multiply. So our K is 3 times 12. So that is 36. Just copy the number of zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. 3, 4. So our constant of origin is 360,000. What is the length 
of a wave with a frequency of 800 kilohertz. So we're going to find the wave length. Now our constant is 360,000 divided by the given frequency is 800. So 800. We can cancel zeros, one, two, one, two. So we have the thousand six hundred divided by eight. So let us now divide three thousand six hundred divided by eight. So our wavelength is four hundred fifty meters. That would be our wave. Next, number two example. According to Boyle's law, the volume of a gas varies inversely with pressure P. So let us now write our equation of variation. The volume is varies inversely as the pressure. Pressure at a constant temperature T. If the volume of a gas is 350 cubic inches, so if we have 350, when the pressure is 40 pounds per square inches, so K over 40. Now cross multiply, K is 350 times 40. 350 times 40, that is 14,000. This is our constant of variation. Find the volume of the gas when the pressure is 105 PSI. Round your answer to the nearest full number. So we're going to find the volume. Our constant is 14,000 divided by 105. So just divide. That will give us 133.33. We need to round into the nearest whole number. So that is equal to 133. cubic inches. Okay. That would be the volume. So that's the inverse variation. See you in our next topic, the joint variation.